All right, so I just moved it as I load, and I, that one storage that I'm trying to empty out into the other two storages, I got uh, that about half emptied out so far. But man, I'm gonna tell you, she was saying when I ran it there. The girl told me one side was climate control, but the other side you kind of got it free because it was only a couple degrees hotter. Which I'm going to tell you, and the other day she was telling me how, oh, well, it's all the same, but the air is kind of broken on one side. So it's actually climate controlled. And I said, no, it is not. Because I keep asking them if they're going to let it freeze in there, if they're going to run the heat, if they're going to. You know, what is the temperature of the one side to the other again? And, um, all that kind of thing. Because I really don't want my stuff in the heat. But, um, uh, it's really hard on my sewing stuff. But I'm going to tell you, I am sweating. And I just took a bath before I moved this stuff. I am sweating big time. Just soaking wet. I'm just being in there for about 30 minutes. I brought a good size load down and, and started pulling some out of that other storage to move it around. I do that a little bit every time. That way when I can get that one emptied out and get everything sorted and organized, then I'll know exactly if I'll need another storage or not because that one expires um, beginning of December and I want to be ready for it. seal in the mail yesterday my new 600 milligrams so I just take it in the morning if I'm real sick I'll take another two 250 at night I'm just gonna go with that one in the morning that way I can stay steady try to work these germs out Was using 500s and I ran out of those and I would take like you know two of those a day or take one and then a 250 at night for the afternoon anyway. but if you just don't want to get too high on them at, you know an 800 or a thousand um, is a lot you got to be careful I got real sick one night because I took I think a thousand all together in one day and um, it was just too much. It made me really ill. But anyway, Did you know that the, the supposed adult age in Florida is 12? Yeah. Well, that, uh, that means if you have ID from another state, it doesn't. <laughs> it would be whatever it is for your state, 18 or whatever. So I got that one room about three quarters empty maybe a little more and I was hoping to get it empty last night or today but then I was started working on some other stuff over in the other room and what's left of my fabric storage I won't be 
finished tomorrow. Landlord contacted me Friday and said, are you moved yet? I was like, she texted me. I said, nope. She got three storages still moving. So, right now I'm kind of running on my deposit. I guess because she's tolerating me to. Or doesn't want to spend the money to evict. Hell, I don't know. She knows it's illegal as hell. It's against CDC and a couple other policies. She just wants to sell real bad. You know how people are. They figure if you go away, then they can get their stuff done. But it's really bad timing. Sure wish she had told me before she started. You know, kept taking her last two or three rents from me. So be ready to move and all that kind of good stuff. But no. Try to get me out about five days. No notice at all. I was like, what? But you know, bad things come to bad people, so that's just the way life is. If you do good and you're kind to others, then your life will run smoothly. So it's 78 degrees. It was cooler outside than it was in the storage complex, okay? Yeah. I was smoking hot in there. Get off that phone. Freaking 
speeding up on me. In 35 mile an hour zone. Because they're playing with a phone and not watching while they're driving. Gee, I had one that was going so fast, coming from Dustin one day, and my daughter was in the car and scared me to death, sucker going about 100 mile an hour. around the entire car. I watch before I pull into another lane so I'm not rude to another driver. I watch before I hit the brakes to turn into something. Sometimes I'll just wait and go around the block because I don't want to stop that fast in front of somebody in case they're not paying attention. Starbucks, the line for Popeye chicken. Well, that's a big beefy truck. there without looking. I would not. I don't trust people in the cars. <laughs> My mom taught me to, to look before you go across the street. Well, they had four tables of face masks over there in front of that oriental shop. Now they got one. doing about a hundred dollars an hour when they started doing that. <coughs> Whoa, the cars. 
What if that's all for the Buffalo place? Or the rent a car place has got a whole bunch of cars. Unless this guy across the street's having a big party again. He seems to get quite a few cars. Ended up over here. I don't think they're doing the party thing too much tonight. Oh, hi. Oh, Massachusetts. Well, I hope you guys have a great evening. I got some work done on the computers today. I'm still trying to get my daughter's computer finished up. Five degrees and it's six o'clock at night.